Today I'm going to be talking about a really fun app called Uptime Kuma. It's by the same guy, his name is Lewis Lamb, who creates Dockage, which I know a lot of you guys like. So Uptime Kuma is this really cool monitoring program for all of your self-hosted apps. Uh, so today I'm just going to show you a quick install and basically how it works, well, some very basics of it. So I'm going to come over to my data sets. I'm going to create a config data set for it. I'm going to give it apps permission. Okay. There it is. So I'm going to come over to apps. And we're going to do a basic install. A lot of people use Docker, Dockage for this if you want. I'm just going to install it right on the host. I don't know what that does. We're about to figure it out. All right, uh, that's fine. That's fine. All right, so again, the data storage, we're going to come over here. And we're going to use a host path for it. So in case I have to recreate it, I don't lose all my monitors. Everything else is good. Let's install it. Okay, now we're up and running. So what I'm going to show you guys how to do is actually monitor something. So let's open up. Well, Dockage is running. Dockage is running. What port is on 5001? Okay, so let's come up with the Uptime Kuma. Show you guys some basics. Username is going to be admin. My password. I'm going to generate my password because it needs a strong password. Um, you can't just put in something small here. So I'm going to generate something big. There we go. So there's a couple things you want to do here. Let me just show you how to just do a basic monitor real fast. So we're going to call this Google. And I'm just going to monitor Google to make sure it doesn't go down, which of course is ridiculous. But again, just to show you guys kind of what it does. This is my Google monitor. It's now monitoring Google. If Google goes down for any reason or it's unreachable, uh, I'm going to get an alert. Let's talk about that alert. We want to go over here to settings. And you're going to want to set up notifications. The most important thing about this program is notifications because if it notices something goes down, unless you're actively looking at this dashboard, you'll never know it goes down. So you're going to want to do set up a notification. You'll notice here it has a ton of notification types. So the two easiest ones to probably use will be either Discord with a webhook uh, or what I use is Gotify and then you just put your application token in here. If you don't know how to use Gotify, I've already created another video on it. Um, I'll probably call it something like that. And then they just paste your token in here. You would enter the URL of your Gotify account. And then you would want to select default enabled. And you would want to apply it on all monitors. So that's basically how it would work. Now, of course, I can't do that here. But notifications are important. So when something does happen on your phone, you might get a little text saying, hey, this just went down. You might want to take a look at that. But let's actually monitor something we're running right now. So we have dockage on this machine. So we're going to call this. Uh, we're going to do a, an HTTP. Yes. Connection, this friendly name is going to be Dockage, and it's going to be an HTTP, actually. Another one. Let's do that. And now Dockage is up. So you'll see here that when I click Dockage, oh, let's go back to Uptime Kuma. I have two up. Now, just to show you that this actually works, come over here to Dockage. And I'm actually going to edit this monitor because I, w I don't want to wait. A whole minute. I'm gonna do it every five seconds. I'm sorry. I can only do it every less than 20. So let's come over here to 20 seconds. Save that. Okay, let's go back up to dockage. So now every 20 seconds, it's gonna ping dockage to see if it's actually up and running. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take down dockage. Let's stop you. Dockage is now down. Let's watch our uptime coma. So I can close this little window thing right here. So now it's going to ping every 20 seconds. It's going to say, hey, it's down. So now it's checking every 20 seconds. It'll give you uptime. It'll give you all kinds of cool things here. And then a really cool thing about this too is the logging. So the first system, now it's, now it's going to get a bunch of downs. But the first time it was down was at 11, 16, and 29 seconds. So if I wanted to know when a service went down, even though I might have this huge red block here, I can go all the way back to the beginning and say, hey, at this is, this time is the exact time that it dropped. So now let's start dockage back up again. Okay, that's starting. Watch out, uptime Kuma. There we go. So now we just noticed that dockage is back up on my TrueNOS server and uptime Kuma registered it is up. So that's uptime Kuma. Again, you can set a number of these monitors. The one thing I want to tell you about this is you probably don't want to run this on your TrueNAS, you can, and it's really cool for monitoring your apps. But say, for example, your internet goes down or your whole TrueNAS server goes down, 
because your uptime Kuma is sitting on your TrueNAS server, if your internet to the server goes down or the server goes down itself, uptime can't, Kuma can't tell you anything's down. So a lot of people run this from a secondary server pointed back at their primary server. But if you only have one server, you can just run it at the server level that you have and then just monitor your, your apps that are there. But just know that in the event that your server goes down for whatever reason or your internet goes down, uptime Kuma will not help you unless it's running somewhere else.